One of the things that strikes me about the multiverse model is that when you use the multiverse, the cosmos is basically a closed system thermodynamically. And I would assume that if something is a closed system thermodynamically, it's also a physically closed system. And it's also a um, computationally closed system as far as the functions it preserves or runs. Now, interestingly enough, my argument for that is that closed system, the universe is a closed system because the universe has laws of conservation, such as the law of conservation of mass or of data. And so that means that neither can we lose nor gain new mass in the cosmos, in the multiverse. So if the multiverse is real and there are an unlimited number of possibilities, The interesting question is, does heaven exist in the actual multiverse? And I think that it's interesting to say that no matter how you describe heaven, um, it would be in the multiverse, even if it was subjective to different individuals, which is interesting as far as if you think about it from a logical stance. Now, on the other end, you could think about this as if we see a physical system that's describable by a state variable, we say that that system is closed and that it has a surface that closes it. When you see an object, you know that it has a surface and that limits its connection to things around it, or at least you would assume. But one of the things about all systems is that they are on a local level or smaller than the cosmos, not closed. And that's because um, that's provable as a thermodynamic system because when you touch something and you feel hot on your, when you feel heat on your hand or cold, that means that there is a, either something entering that system or leaving it as far as thermodynamically. Now, I don't know if physical systems are actually completely closed, but every physical system is also a thermodynamic system. So, and so if you can feel the heat or the cold, that transfer of temperature is actually um, proof that that is in fact um, an open system, or at least you would assume. Just as a thermodynamic system, all physical systems would be open, as well as computational systems. That's one of the reasons why there always has to be an entrance into any system in systemics if you want to add or take away um, information from that system. Uh, for instance, when you extract a file from a computer or um, and even when you patch, um, there's always going to be that back door or whatever. So um, interestingly, if there is such a thing as a spiritual realm in the multiverse, given that there's an infinite number of possibilities and that there is such a spiritual verse that it, it is so diverse that it's heaven for all kind for everyone and everything in the that heaven is um subjective to the individual person's perception of heaven you could say that potentially even though they've done studies to show that um electrical signals and things like that don't actually go out from the body um, or the brain when a person dies and they've pretty much accounted for a lot of the factors. I really wonder if research, um, further research could show 
the in an evidence-based way, if thermodynamically the soul exists as heat energy that is constantly changing or something that causes that heat energy, we could say that a person's soul being information made of whatever it's made of inside of a person's um, mind, what if um, when we die, our souls actually, um, prior to death, were locked in the physical system of who we are, but at the same time, as a thermodynamic system, heat does leave the body when you die. So what if that heat energy is actually more complex than people think, and it is a soul? And then what if that's all that a soul is, is encrypted heat energy um, that's being transferred from one object to the next, um, such that given after that would inhabit the things that it inhabits along the way, um, such that reincarnation happens in that in that sense that it, the soul as this heat energy enters into some physical object or whatever they might be living or um, once that heat energy evaporates from there it goes on and um, interestingly enough if the universe we can reach is within our with our souls being in our bodies is actually just a physical system is it possible that when we die and continually re reincarnate as our soul travels through space and time what if that thermodynamic complexity actually goes to a thermodynamic um, realm and that is the possibility of um, a spiritual realm as it is also complex encoded or encrypted uh, um, universe or sub-universe that is or parallel universe that is literally made of heat energy that's codified and it's kind of an interesting idea um, but it would show that even if we have a physical system as a cosmos that is largely um, closed due to the surface or the cosmic horizon that covers it um, and therefore that's the, the limit of the physical system as an object we could say that heat does actually leave the universe and, and I wonder if that could be the case um, or if even if it doesn't leave the universe, it goes to a section of the multiverse that is not necessarily accessible by our minds or bodies here on Earth. Um, and that our souls are trapped in our mind um, in this physical form. I don't know if um, I'm not real big on thermodynamics. I don't really understand uh, or I understand, but I don't remember what the um, what the laws of thermodynamics are, and potentially one of those laws could um, dissuade this argument. But I'd be interested in knowing if uh, that were true. But yeah, you know, could be made out of a lot of different substances. That um, considering that everything contained in the cosmos is, or the multiverse, is actually a closed system, or an open system, I mean, sorry. But the universe itself, being a closed system, just operates within, yeah, 